Exercise is a therapy for many, many types of diseases, right? And we've historically studied this in heart disease and diabetes. And many of us have said, you know, a lot of the same problems for those diseases affect tumors as well. So for example, tumors have abnormal blood vessels and that prevents delivery of our drugs or our immune cells, as in the case of, you know, immune-based therapies. And so, Years ago, as a PhD student, I studied how exercise affects blood vessels within a tumor and actually showed that it works similarly to many of the anti-angiogenic drugs that we use. In melanoma in particular, that anti-angiogenics has not been a particularly effective approach, at least alone. But what we hypothesized was that we could also use exercise to improve the delivery of cells, not just drugs. Um, and so that's what I've been studying in the lab. I work in Jed Wolchuk's lab. And we've really been studying how different intensities of exercise affect the delivery of you know, cells, particularly T cells, and then tumor growth as a result of that. The other really important part is that the tumors to grow need oxygen and they need nutrients, but those immune cells also need oxygen and nutrients. Um, that requires functional blood vessels as well. And so that's been part of our study is to try to understand metabolic effects of exercise as well. We're starting to see you know, some good results and we're hoping to get them out there in the near future. Um, but I do think we are increasingly seeing exercise being integrated for cancer patients in the clinical setting. If nothing else, there are wonderful data that exercise improves quality of life for cancer patients and increasing data that there may be you know, effects of exercise on anti-tumor efficacy as well. And so much more to come in the coming years, but really a lot of growing enthusiasm about this field. Um, and the small number of us who do this call ourselves exercise oncologists. Um, and I think there's a, a big new generation of exercise oncologists that are coming.